Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Mail Theory channel. Today we're going to talk about one one more interesting um, topic today. That is DevOps versus DevSecOps. What's the difference okay so as we know from the definition point of view devops is dev plus operations like both you'll have integration but however devsecops is nothing but a subset of DevOps, which only focuses on security aspects. So they do have a different goals altogether. So they are not same. A proper understanding of both will allow you to create a more secure environment for your company's data by leveraging the, the strengths and minimizing the weakness in each approach. Okay. Uh, what is the advantages of DevSecOps right, and DevOps? So if you understand DevOps plus security. This is a Dev SecOps. This will allow you to create more secure environments in DevOps. What it my what it what actually doesn't mean you know uh, it means by secure environment it means minimizing the uh, minimizing the weaknesses in in implementations. Okay, now let's understand a little bit more. Let's understand a little bit deep dive. We'll do. Okay, so if you have minimized the weakness, right? So what it will increase is it will increase productivity. because you have less downtime. Your systems will not go down just like that uh, for any on uh, attacks, right? Uh, any brute force attacks or Trojan attacks or some other malicious software attacks and all that. And the other thing is it also bridge the communication between automation and risk management. Okay. So these are the main focus of the DevSecOps. The idea is to have a safe DevOps environment. It means your production, where you have your apps running, critical apps, 
I'm talking about that in your own mind. Okay. That is the goal of the DevSecOps. Now let's understand what are the team skill set for you should require for DevSecOps. Because we're talking about the concept of security. So what kind of security do you require if you want to understand about DevSecOps? The next fundamentals. That means commands, scripting, log analysis, I mean log dump analysis. Along with that, we have a lot of DevOps tools to manage security. You should also understand at least a couple of tools. Now the next thing is, you should also understand, you know, there are a few common things between DevOps and DevSecOps. The same thing, what is, we will also have the automation, right? We have, um, active monitoring so here we will automate the the pipeline deployments the build release and all that and we will also monitor the various environments, similarly also the build release pipelines. But in the DevSecOps, automation is about security testing, active monitoring for the weaknesses, like for example, like, you know, vulnerabilities in the system right which improves like you know what is this it improves the your code quality finally right the other thing you need to understand is how can you convert uh, dev of an environment to DevSecOps an environment. This is called a shift left method. Okay, what is the shift uh, left method? So make sure that everyone is on the same page, the, all the teams, your dev, testing, integration, application owners and all that. Now, using the right combination of tools, you will convert your existing DevOps environment to DevSecOps environment. So what are the different tools we will be using? set of tools okay now uh, something called as because this all about the applications the application code right so at the end of the day everything is related about the application their code their 
integrations. Since this is an application related, so you can understand there is something called as a static code and dynamic code. So we will be using something called as SAST. That is one tool which is like static application security testing. This is one tool. The second one is DAST. Similarly, that is dynamic application security testing tools. So there are a lot of other tools uh, you can use, but these are the most you know effective tools you should start. You can start with. OK, and the other thing you need to understand is you should also have something called as a. Coding standards. You should focus on this is very important. OK. Secure apps from inside out. That means, you know, you should also make sure that the the built-in security approach is already there at the part of the code level. Or you can see that something called as OWASPs and all those security controls. So these are various combination as we discussed along with the, you know, uh, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So if you follow these right combination of security methods, then your whole shift is happening conversion of your devops environments to devsecops environment guys okay this is called the shift left method and um, so i'll just give a quick recap where we started so what is the difference between devops and devsecops by definition devops means we know dev development plus operations the integration between how the whole process works build release management but DevSecOps is a subset of DevOps, which only focus on security. And they do have different goals. The next thing is, what is a DevSecOps actually? So what do you do? So the whole idea is to minimize the weaknesses. That means any vulnerabilities in the implementation, increase the productivity, less downtimes, less attacks and all that, bridge the communication between the automation and risk management. The whole idea is to have the secure environment, right? And secure or safe for your production applications. Now, what the DevSecOps is all about is about the concept of security. Should also include the, the next fundamentals with combination of DevOps tools, right? And now understand what is the tools like, you know, because we have automation in, in, in DevOps, which is, as I said, build release and active environment monitoring. Similarly, in, in DevSecOps, we have a security testing automation and also vulnerability um, uh, active monitoring to increase the code quality. Now, how we'll convert the DevOps environment to DevSecOps? Use the left shift method, right combination of tools and approach one is because everything is all about the application code and integrations so we have uh, one is static code and one is dynamic code so we have a stst this is a uh, tools one two and uh, coding standards secure apps from inside out using the code level you can use the OAP standards so this is about the uh, how uh, the difference between dev and devsecops and the whole uh, uh, you know, how can you shift from the uh, dev to DevSecOps environment, everything. 
so so if you have any questions please use the comment section guys and um, and please subscribe to my channel for more information for more videos on this thank you so much for watching and this is sai signing off for the day have a nice day guys bye bye